the Yankee, Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. The Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. One is a genius, the other's a twit. On the radio, the beans have been spiced. The Yankee Brit country this Saturday night. Got it all going on over here. We have the man on the phone with us right now. Say hello, Joe. Hey, how you doing? Doing all right. Hey, you got a first question out of my mouth, man. How do you pronounce your last name? Uh, Vasquez. Vasquez. Okay, that's... Yep. That, now, I've got you on these songs as Luis. Yeah, uh, Joe Lewis. Lewis, is it? Okay. That was the one. I didn't know which name to use. They came through as Vasquez, but I wasn't sure which name to use. No, uh, Joe Vasquez. Uh, my The band that I have is Joe Vasquez and the Bourbon Gentleman. Um Joe Lewis is just like my 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 name on social media. Okay, uh. I'll go back and change them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. We know who you are. That's the main thing, I guess. Yeah. So how are you? Everything going all right? Everything's going great. Uh, I have my uh, my brother Adam Vasquez here with me as well. He's uh, the lead guitar player for my band, and he also sings back up with me. And uh, he's happy to be here with me as well. Is that your band in all of these songs we're playing? Uh, no, actually, those are, that's our, uh, we, we recorded the, the album down in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, at Beard's Music, and, uh, two of the songs, actually, Another Summer Night and Red Light Kiss, those were actually recorded with my band up here in Ohio, but, uh, we were just trying to go for that, that radio playable, um, sound that comes out of Nashville, and, um, that's the band we really, I mean, our live show, we really kind of deliver that, that, that same sound that you're hearing on the radio as well. Well, I think you nailed that because it sounds it's awesome. I was only saying to you the other day, didn't I, that uh, you could sing the telephone directory and you would just nail it. <laughs> you're just awesome. What part of Ohio Thanks are you in? Much. Well, we're actually in the northwest corner, the very northwest corner closest to uh, Indiana and Michigan of Ohio that you can be. So you're over there on the other side of Toledo, Toledo. Yes, yes, very, uh, it's about, well, I'd say about 45 minutes, uh, an hour from, uh, east of us. So. Is that where you were born and raised? No, actually, me and my brother, uh, Adam, we were born in just south of San Antonio, Texas. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, that's just strange, because I moved to Texas, I was born and raised up there in the northeast corner of Ohio. Oh, yeah? Yeah, lake effect well, snow. Well, that's a good reason to move to Texas. So, in other words, you swap places. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could look at it that way. <laughs> so, when did you get started with your music? Um, we've been uh, we've been playing uh, touring for about two years now, both professionally. It's been about two years. I've been playing around ten years uh, when I started. So, are you signed up with any labels, or uh, are you still on your own? Nope, we are still independent. We have we we shopped out our music. Uh, after we got the album recorded down in Nashville, we shopped it out. We had a couple of bites, and uh, it was more or less, it came down to the, the money aspect of what can you put into your own career. And we're still, you know, we're still working hard. We're still working hard. Um, we're still on the road a lot, just really trying to push our name out. Um, everything that we've done has been self-promoted um, and funded through our own community. We have about 20 sponsors, local businesses that have helped us um you know really drive our music and what we're what we're trying to do to make a name for our, the band being from our small town and stuff we just want we just want to make them proud you know well i think you're doing a hell of a job the sound is unbelievable i can't believe uh that kind of sound comes out of that uh, little mouth of yours <laughs> <laughs> yeah it sounds great I, I you just doesn't you don't you know you don't look like the kind of guy to have that kind of voice but man does this sound great yeah, a lot of people they get they're they kind of like when I show up to a new venue they they kind of give me a look and they're like oh you know what are, what are we gonna have like a rock night because I, I have you know I have tattoos and um, you know piercings and, and all that but I'm you know I I, I get I get up there I play take my guitar on I start singing country music and they they kind of thrown off but they love it I mean it's not I just <laughs> it blows me off too. Oh, yeah. You know how tattoos make everybody a bad person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, I don't get people, man. They can't look past them. They can't look past the cover. They always got to just look and see what they see and base everything on that. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm going to, um, what I can do is I'm going to let you give a, 
give a couple of an- or questions to my brother here. He, he's going to talk to you guys as well. Sure. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Hi. what's going on with you? I'm pretty well. Uh, like uh, Joe said, uh, I'm Adam Vasquez, the lead guitar player for the Bourbon Gentlemen, and it's just um, it's a pleasure to be on your show. We really appreciate that you like our like our sound. Oh and, yeah. You know, if you'd really like us to you know become more on board, we can show up for a live appearance whenever you'd like. So. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough room in here for everybody. <laughs> You're more than welcome to come over here and play for us. You could cook us dinner as well. And play, get your guitar out, <laughs> and entertain us all. Well, yeah, we played in many venues. Uh, uh, you know, as you know, as big as you know, a tailgate party here in um, here in Toledo. You know, with with you know over you know three hundred three hundred uh, fans, or we played everything. Uh, you know, from you know small types. So we're prepared. <laughs> Do you get nervous? Well. Um, I guess more so on interviews sometimes, but on the stage, it's what we do, and nothing brings the most out of us than doing what we love to do. So, See? on stage, yeah, it's a it's a whole new roller coaster, and we'd love for you guys to check that out. Well, with you guys, or with us, I should say, uh, we just want you to be yourself at your moment. Talk about yourself. Tell us who you are, what you do. You know, I we're just bullshitters. I mean, we're not into the. Are you divorced? Are you married? All that garbage, you know. We just want to know about you. Yeah, definitely. Here you go, Joe. <laughs> we're uh, like a pretty laid back too. Um, we're trying to everything that we're doing. Like I said, we're we're trying to really push push the original music. We're uh, we we do play covers like all of uh, top forty music, but um, when it all comes down to it, we're just trying to get you know, deliver our music and get it in front of new fans and, and let new new listeners, you know, check out what we have to offer up here in Ohio. Right. Just stay true to yourself. Are That's you, the main um, thing. Do you know the Trucking Bozos Bar and Grill? No, I do not. It's over at, uh, it's over uh, just south of Toledo. It's uh, where I-80 and 280 meet over there to split. It's Trucking Bozos Bar and Grill. You ought to get hooked up with Dave. I'm sure he'd love to have you guys come over there, especially if he finds out what sound yeah, you guys has, got going on. Yeah, he has on. bands on, I think, almost every week. All right. Well, have to get, uh, you have to give me some information on that. We'd love yeah, to play Yeah, I will do it. The end yeah, of the they're, show in Mil- or... they're in Milbury, actually, which is just south, is over there by Perrysburg, south of Toledo, basically. Oh, yeah. Uh, who writes all your songs? You guys write all your own stuff? Um, yeah, I, I write the music. Um that's that's kind of what I've always done. Um, even in other bands that I've been part of, uh, I just I've always had a knack for a good storyline, and um, so I, I usually come up with the concept of the of the music or the whole song, and then my band they just kind of you know it just forms itself naturally. Where do you get your inspiration for some of that music? Just from everyday life or friends? Um, yeah, um, I try to. If it doesn't come like if it doesn't come directly from my life or my experience, I try to make the music as relatable as possible to uh, the listener, uh, whether it's heartbreak or happiness or, or uh, a good time entirely, or, you know, you, maybe you're just, you miss, you miss somebody. It's like, I try to, I really try to convey a story that's relatable and, you know, something that makes sense rather than just bullshit off the whim lyrics that don't make sense. Yeah, you know? please stick to that because there's nothing I can't stand more than some song that doesn't have a story or doesn't even make any sense. Just because the music's good, you know, it's not any good if it doesn't give you that. I don't know if it doesn't touch your soul. I don't see any sense in even bothering with it. Exactly. There's, exactly. There's so much of that Nashville garbage coming out from down there. It's just you know anything to make a dollar is what it sounds like. That's why we focus on you know folks like you with the independent artists because that's where the music's at. That's where the real music is is with people like you. So a little bit more into the album, um, country sounds. Growing up in the country, it really just gives you some you know time and space to to think. And as Joey was uh, writing the songs. You know, he really kind of just listened to what he needed to do as, as you know, choosing this musicianship. So we're really proud of what we brought to the table with this album, Country Sound, and the single. Uh, when it when it comes to the story of that, it's just being, um, it's just being really, um, I don't know, kind of humble of where where you come from, and we know that it's going to be a long journey. Um, you know, for many, many years to come, 
as far as you know, we're as far as Joey's playing, as far as we're both singing together and, and everybody, it's a, it's a long journey, and you, you know, writing this music is kind of our reminder where we came from and where we're going. And I think it's gonna, you know, keep us on a on a steady path, you know, staying positive, and you know, we we love we love the kind of feedback that we get that we um, that we get from all of our supporters. So that's why we're that's why we're you know that's why we did this album. That's why we're um, promoting ourselves to bigger venues because we know that, um, you know, we know that if we establish the, um, I don't know, the kind of respect, you know, back to our fans, right. that they're going to be there. A couple questions out of the chat room here. One, Keith Sampson, we just debuted one of his new songs. Um, he wants to know, do you have a website? And I'm sure you do. Uh, what's the address for that or your Facebook page? Yeah, uh, the address for it is uh, Joe... Uh, JoeVasquezOfficial.com um, and it, if you go there again it's JoeVasquezOfficial.com and it has all of our tour dates for this year uh, so far we have a pretty good lineup right now uh, last year we did uh, 86 shows and that is a full year right there uh, I'll tell you what wow. we were, uh, we, were, we were happy for the downtime in December that we were just <laughs> like alright we finally get to take a break I bet so how long have you and your brother been playing together? Yeah, uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of the, the, the pride of, of what we're carrying is that, like, we kept it, we, I, I mean, we've kept uh, the brother thing going and we play off of it too. We're kind of like on stage, you know, picking on each other. Or we're just having a good time on stage, but, you know, people people see that and they're like, hey, you know, some people think that my younger brother Adam here looks older than me. So, like, is that your older brother? I'm like, I just play along with it. Yeah, he's about four <laughs> years older than me. So it's the beard, really. Yeah, he can. <laughs> my brother, can, my brother can grow a beard, and I can't. It comes in all patchy and stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, boy, I know how that goes. I try that every winter, boy, and I look like a patchwork quilt on my face. <laughs> Samo, a good dear friend of ours, uh, works, uh, he does airtime over there in Florida. Um, he says, anytime you want to come to Florida, you can jam out in the Sam O studio and he can feed you live right through uh, their FM station or uh, right through to us. If you're ever in Florida, let us know you're going that way and we'll hook you up. He's down in Daytona Beach. A good place for a vacation, by the way. We've, uh, I, we've actually had a lot of offers to go down there. We just, you know, we, we usually book up, uh, do our booking a year in advance. So it's like, when, when some of these places, they finally get a hold of us, they're like, oh, man, we love your music. Can we get you down here on this day? I'm like, well, we usually book a year ahead, so you got to give us some more time. But if, but, if anybody's you know, interested in, in contacting us, they're more than welcome to. Yeah, and they can go to the, they can do that from the website too. We have a there's a tab on there for contact, and uh, that goes straight to our booking agent. And uh, that, that from there, it just you know if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, well, you know, hopefully it doesn't in, in the future. But we actually, I, like I said, we've gotten quite a few offers to go down to Florida. I'd love to go down there because I hear they love their country down there. And uh, my buddy actually, Sean, he plays down in Key West. He does about a two or three week tour every summer. Um, I just haven't been able to make it. Uh, what's that website? What's your website again? Yeah, how are you spelling it's it? Because it's J O J O E V A S Q U E Z. Easy, yep. And then official. O F F I C I A L dot com. All right, I'm making sure I get it right before I uh, go posting it out there. There it is, right there. And the Bourbon Gentleman. That's the one. I yep, tried to pull uh, it up, and I must have spelt it wrong. Oh, I like these guys even more. We're talking bourbon over here. Oh, yeah. That's my baby right there. Okay, I got it. I'm sticking it in the chat right now so these guys can get the proper address. Um, and I'll also pass that on to Dave. He's in that uh, the Truck and Bozo's Bar and Grill up there in Toledo. I'll pass that on to him, and we'll send him some of your tunes to check out. Yeah, I know Dave says that he's like pretty much booked up for the next year. So you know, if you guys work a year in advance, you might be actually be able to coordinate, I suppose. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's close enough. You can nap and then drive over there and play. That sounds good. <laughs> if you're like this old bastard, there's nothing like a good nap sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> boy you ain't kidding about that um where do you uh let's see what i want to say oh uh you have any uh any family members that were into music you know before you got started in it oh yeah um 
like I said, me and my me and my brother here, we were uh, born in Te- uh, in Uvalde, Texas, just south of San Antonio. Um, and our cousins, uh, actually on my mother's side, her cousins are, um, and actually they're a very very big um, Tejano uh, Spanish group, the Los Palominos, uh-huh. and they're uh, they're a very well known band in, in that genre uh, all over the world. So I mean, it's kind of like it, music's always been part of our uh, art of our growing up and, and our family. So it's just we're, we're happy that we can be you know keeping on with that tradition as well. Yeah, that's great. Have you played with anybody? Uh, I guess, for lack of a better word, famous or opened for anybody? Oh, plenty. Yeah, we did uh, the last few years. We've been doing really good openings. Um, this year we're going to be coordinating a show that we're actually going to be coordinating ourselves with, uh, opening with Aaron Lewis this year. So, Oh, no way. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Last year we, uh, we opened for, uh, the Kentucky headhunters. That was a really cool show. Um, Wow. Big time. And you're still independent. That's cool. Yeah. There was, I mean, and that's just a small list. We did, uh, there's, we can, how how far we can go. We did brothers Osborne, the, uh, Josh Grayson, Chase, Chase Rice, John Party. I mean, we've we've been fortunate enough to open up for some really, really big names and uh, um, some small names that they're. I mean, they're going to be big someday. You know, I think so. Uh, you talking about you guys are going to be big someday? Oh, yeah, well, hopefully that's the that's the goal. But I was talking about we've got we've had chances to open up for uh, other bands that are small on the on the radar. Like uh, we um we played we opened three years ago. We opened for. Uh, for the um, the brothers Osborne before they had a number one hit, and that was at a small festival over in Hamler, Ohio, and they were nobody. There was maybe I think there was maybe hundred people there to watch them, and I'd never heard of them either. But then two years later, they had uh, that that single uh, "Stay a Little Longer," and they broke number one with it. And I mean that, that's that's all it takes is one good song. Yeah, uh, for the right person to hear it, I mean that's going to blow them up. Nick Deitch is in the chat. He's from England. He's a good friend of Donna's from when she lived over there. Um, he wants to know, how do the music artists travel around America? Is it in a camper? <laughs> Say that again? He wants to know how artists, music artists, travel around America. Is it in a camper? Uh, they got to have a high tolerance for B.O., I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm cringing gotta- already. I'm cringing. <laughs> I mean, if you can live in a if you can live in a bus with eight or nine guys uh, with your road crew and not showering for two days and playing playing a week's worth of music in four hours, you know you build up a sweat. After Ooh. the show, you kind of uh, hang out and relax instead of take a shower. And you add nine guys to that, that's the worst. Oh, and his brother Dan says uh, in an RV. So how do you guys get around? Do you fly to a lot of places? Nope, nope. We uh, we are driving. Um, we drive to our shows. We we, we we're trying to. Uh, right now we're regional. Uh, so w- we started when we were first playing like small dive bars in our area. We were just we kept it local. We maybe went fifty miles at most. But now that we've broken into uh, what are we doing? Four states this year, and um, now we're tri- we're driving. We're we're carpooling with each other, but. That's, like again, it's the, we're we're building we're building our uh, our reputation and our we're building up our shows. So now you know we used to be playing four hour shows for fifty dollars and we're still paying our tab. Now we're 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 up to the good paying shows because people you know they've heard our music. Um, we got featured on FM radio on the high on XM the uh, the highway, and that was a really good. I mean that was really good to have. Um, have on our our uh, resume you know yeah i would say so well you know you can always come back to texas here in another year or two and you know you can get out here on some of these back roads and find yourself a good tour bus sitting around cheap oh my goodness yeah that's true <laughs> that, I know that. and you can so, find well, some I, mattresses too <laughs> some, of the, some of the best music some of the best country music are these unknown <clears throat> texas things you know um that, that reminds me of a funny story we were offered a um, we were offered a tour bus from the south. In that, yeah, it was in Texas, and uh, they discovered that um, it had a nest of diamondback 
snakes in it. I was just going to say, you're probably going to tell me it's full of rattlesnakes or something. <laughs> yeah, it was built. It was built, and we we were like, yeah, we might. We're going to have to pass on that one for now. Just get the rattlesnakes out, and they'll uh, they'll get back to us. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing you. Jeez, I wouldn't be surprised though. Not around here. We're in North. We're up in North Texas. We're not far from the Oklahoma border, so. Uh, it's uh, not, oh, right not quite as bad because, you know, we don't have the, the desert kind of conditions or the sand or anything like that. I mean, they're still around, copperheads, rattlesnakes and all that, but not quite as bad because it's oh, mostly yeah. green around here. But, you know, with the Red River being right in our so backyard. You guys, you guys were safe during the floods, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Except for my backyard. I'm building a railroad in my backyard. I had to wait for the water to go down before I could go back out there and do any more work. But it was gone in about two hours' time. It ran right off. And I'm not used. To, I'm a Brit. I'm not used to going out in the garden and having to swim just to get to the mail. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty wild around here. Are you still there? Yes. Yes, we are. I think your signal's going sort of cutting in and out. You might have to stand on your left leg and hop up and down, maybe. Maybe Adam here would. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you got some tin foil to wrap around your head. Say that again. You got any tin foil to wrap around your head? No, I do not. <laughs> so, what do you guys? Uh, what's the future plan? You got you got an EP out yet, or an album? Uh, I don't want to say record, yeah. but I'm old school, uh, so record always wants to come out of my mouth. I uh, actually we we released we released uh, Country Sound uh, last November, so we we released three singles off of it, and they did they did very well. Um, the feedback that we got from it was amazing, but this year um, we're uh, we're going to try to we're going to try to get back in the studio and cut the next album. So because people are waiting, you know, people are waiting to see what's next in the small town boy. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm just ready. I'm ready for it too. You know. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys sound beautiful. The sound is great. The production is great. Whoever does all the backside work, you can give them a good pat on the back too because it all sounds great. Oh yeah, no beard music. They uh. They're right in the right in the heart of uh, Nashville, and uh, they they have a very reputable, um, you know, a category behind them. Like uh, the the clients they've worked with, like uh, Randy Travis and uh, Garth Brooks, uh, Shania Twain, all the great. Uh, they've they've at least cut singles there. Or um, I know that Randy Travis cut his last two gospel records in that place in that studio. So. Um, I had no, I had all the confidence in the world that they, that, that what, what they were going to uh, make my music, um, what they were going to make it into was, it was, it was going to be definitely something that other bands are going to, around us, we're going to be like, wow, man, we got to step our game up. Yeah. And I think that's what, sep- that's what separates, I think, separates us from, uh, from some of the bands around here that, you know, everyone, everybody's on their grind. Um, we're, you know, we put out this product where um, it it sounds professional. You know, there's a great, there's a good tone to all the music. Um, it's just pro quality, and that's what we were aiming for, and we're, we're very happy how it turned out. Yeah, honestly, I didn't expect it to sound that good, you know, because I hadn't had a chance to listen to it, believe it or not, until tonight. I loaded all your songs up during the beginning of our show, and that was the first chance I got to hear them. I was like, holy shit, these guys are yeah, awesome. Yeah, I, I was listening to it the other day, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, um, all the songs on there, we're very, very proud that we were able to... Uh, Get our story out there. Of course, being uh, being from the small from, from the small towns, we'd love to bring it to bigger cities. And uh, you know, um, an organization um, that you guys are you know are a part of are really helping us make that dream come true. And we really appreciate uh, you know any of those opportunities. And like I said, we'd be more than welcome, or more than willing to uh, come see you guys live, play for you uh, on on your show whenever you'd like, or you know um, you know even get us in contact with maybe people that you feel. Um, you know, have opportunities out there. And that's what we're looking for. And uh, we just really, really um, appreciate that you enjoy our music. Well, do you guys come down Texas way quite a bit? Texas region? That's, our, that's where our family's from. Yeah. So we, we visit that, that quite a bit. So you're, so, okay, then uh, enlighten me here. You guys are just staying in Ohio right now or you live there? We, 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 we live up here. We have families up here. Uh, we actually, me and my, me and my brother here, we were born in, uh, in Texas and right. uh, my father had, 
he had a job opportunity that, that he couldn't pass up. So we've been up here for about 25 years, and oh, and uh, wow. every year every year we we visit uh, we visit our family. We go down there. We'll stay down there for about a month or so, and then we'll come back home to our families up here. But yeah, I mean, we're always happy, always happy to go down there and uh, get the love from the family down there because they've been spreading our music. Uh, we're actually we have uh, four stations in San Antonio alone that our music is uh, being played on, and that's thanks to our family. Uh, just word of mouth right there. Awesome. Well, yeah, you're welcome to come here anytime. Bring your tattoos, too. Bring the tattoos. I'm gonna have, <laughs> won't leave the <them> house. <laughs> I thought you might catch on to that. Um, all right, well, we don't want to keep you all night. A uh, couple questions real quick, if you don't mind, and we'll oh, let you out of here. Oh, boring questions. Oh, shut These up. Really Can I have are. my moment, These please? These really are boring questions. Twat. I hope shut up. just put okay. your phone down if you don't want to wear it. <laughs> Let's make these boring questions fun, all right? Yes. Ignore, ignore the British bloke Give over here. Give us some really exciting answers. Lie if you want to lie. Silence. I'm talking over here. All right. Number one, what? and it doesn't matter which one of you answers. Whoever's on the phone with me right now is fine. Um, what's your favorite word? Like, um, just a word in general? And what's your favorite word? doesn't matter what it is. It is. Uh, I do, it's going to be a little cliche, but I do like some harmony. I really like harmony. Harmony, that's a kind of yep. a smooth word, isn't it? What's your yeah. least favorite word? Oh, I'd have I, I'd have to say uh, coagulate. That's just uh, it's disgusting. <laughs> it really is. Coagulate, I, I would have uh, never I, thought. My least, least favorite word would have to be moist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad someone's making it exciting. <laughs> Randy gets moist, you know, when he listens to your music. He won't. Oh. He won't admit it, but oh, baby, I, I see the wet patches on his trousers. <laughs> Shut up! I said this was my part of the show. Stay out of it. I'm moist. Be quiet. <laughs> what turns you on? I'd have to say high voltage, definitely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... Our um, our shows are very high energy, um, and what happened was uh, I was rocking out on the stage, and I guess there was a drink that really spilled um, spilled in front of me, and I was stepping in the puddle, and I was feeling like a slightly electrocuted, <laughs> but it made me, it was crazy, it actually made me play faster, more aggressive, so that was something that really, really upped the whole so you're going to carry a glass of water with you now and splash it on the floor when you get in the middle of a good hot jam? You know what? I don't even have to do that. That happens from the stage anyways. Like, uh, <laughs> maybe some... You don't know what's going to come flying. You really do, don't. Do all the maybe... ladies throw their underpants at you? I was just going to say, maybe some girls throwing their hot, moist panties up there. You could stand on oh, those. My God. You know, I tell you what, it's a dodging game, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's the what game? Come on. Translate. A dodging game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why, do you get some of them that had lumps and crust in them? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> next question, please. <laughs> well, next question. What turns you off? What turns me off? I'd, I'd have to say um, crumbs on the bed. What is it? <laughs> crumbs on the bed. I was thinking he was going to say, um, you know, uh, underpants hanging on his beard or something. <laughs> <laughs> Another pair of those... Another pair of those moist undies stuck to your beard. Yeah, these are very out of the hat questions. So you know, here I just you know I don't like waking up with other people's food in my mouth. So. <laughs> <laughs> or some strange girl's panties. Uh, number five. What sound do you love? What sound? Yes. Oh man, that's a really strange one right there. Mm. Come on, make it <clears throat> exciting. That's right. That's right. I'd have to say. Um, mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, let, let me just uh, like when somebody's listening to when somebody's listening to our slow tunes and you hear the uh, you hear that sound. They they can't put it into words. It just kind of sounds like ah, like mm, you know, like really, really soulful. A good moaning. <laughs> yeah, a good moaning. <laughs> hey, if it's a slow song, you know, I want to go beat it up, put something into it, give it some welly. We don't like. Did you ask the sound that we don't like? Yes, yes, we did ask what the sound was that you don't like. No, I said, what sound do you love? The next one is, what sound do you hate? Uh, no, the sound that I hate is uh, after we get done playing a song and you only you're in a room full of people and only two people clap. It's the worst. <laughs> when well, when, they, when they go, yay! Yeah. Well, some, sometimes you know, uh, you know, sometimes 
those are the only two people. But you know, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> There's hit and miss shows sometimes. So, <laughs> so, so stepping on a moist pair of panties, that squishing sound. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I think. <laughs> These well, it's fucking dry, will they? <laughs> What's your favorite curse word? Oh, shit. shit. Definitely shit. I say shit. I, say, I say shit all the time. What about you, Adam? Oh, uh, man. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot there's a lot of them going on there. Uh I guess I guess it'd have to be um this is kind of crazy. I mean, I could if you if you're allowing me to say this on the internet. Uh, Go on. I'd have to say um I'd have to say the word ass is my favorite. I think you can use it in, in pretty much every situation. Like, uh, you know, you're a badass or, you know, like, uh, <laughs> hey, look at that. I, I, something crazy. You can use it in every situation. You're such an ass. Yeah. Wow. Look at that ass. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're, out, we're, out, we're on stage and Adam's like, I'm sitting there trying to sing a song. He's just like, hey, there's an ass over there. You know? <laughs> Uh, does that ever draw your attention away from the right strings? Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Attracts them to the I, G I, strings. Our, yeah, our music's more important, definitely. <laughs> what profession, other than yours, would you like to attempt? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, was, uh, like, uh, what, are you talking about like if we weren't musicians, what would we like to do? Right. You know, would you like to be a trash man, a woodcrafter, a tree trimmer, or something? <laughs> I'd like to be an artist. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty what cool. What do you mean, like a painter? Like a painter, yeah. Or like maybe a pyrotech, pyrotechnician. Hey, kind of that guy. Blow shit up. Yeah, yeah blow, blow shit up. Yeah, I like that idea. Oh, yeah. Blow up that yeah. ass while it's moist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what profession would you not like to do? Try a garbage man. How's that? No, I'd say gynecologist. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, nasty. Now you're talking real moist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. What about those big giant vaginas, you know, the ones that echo because they're so huge? Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's some places that just don't go, you know? <laughs> hello, 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 hello. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I guess two more questions. Number, number 10, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? I've been expecting you. I think that that'd be fun. <laughs> I, I feel like if I were to walk... If I were to show up at the gate and Jesus was standing there, he's been like, like, man, I gave you all that time down there and you still fucked it up. <laughs> Adam's going to walk up to St. Peter and say, where's all the ass? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where all the white girls at? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I have an important question for you. Do you, this is for both of you. Do you hang your toilet roll over or under? Oh. You know, um, over, always. Ah. Yeah. Oh, um, you see, we have an ongoing a toilet roll war left. here. I'm a lefty. Okay, so, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you just got to live life on the edge. And, uh, <laughs> the edge but, of the toilet but, seat, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you, could have a party, hey, if you could have a party in the sky with someone, who would it be, alive or dead? I guess dead if you could have it in the sky. Um, probably Jimi Hendrix. He's a cool guy. Yeah. Uh, if it was like in the sky, probably probably wouldn't want to be on the plane with Led Zeppelin. How's that? No, not a good trip or Buddy Holly for that matter. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I can understand that. Anything else, wife? Um, you guys got anything you want to add? No, um, I mean we appreciate that you guys uh, taking the time uh, out of your t- your uh, show. Uh, spend it with us, man. That was really cool. We really appreciate that. Oh, this is what we do Saturday nights. We love having you guys call, and you're more than welcome to call anytime. You got an update, or you're coming down to Texas way, or headed to Florida, or whatever. Ooh, you know, let baby. us know. Yeah, well, we really hope uh, that you guys enjoy our music. Uh, I really enjoy country sounds, along with the place that I call home. These are some great tunes. I feel like they can really relate uh, to many people over, uh, you know, over your over your bandwidth. I guess is what I'm saying. So thanks again, really. Hey, no, thank you for hanging out with us for a little while and just being kind of silly and uh, not taking life so seriously for a little while. Uh, li- li- <laughs> Are you feeling all right over there? Shut up, I said. Do you need medical help again? Yes, I do. <laughs> Tell that half. Four hours of this Tell show. That four hours of this show, and I might have to seek medical attention. <laughs> all right, again, thank you very much for hanging out with us and just being 
normal guys for a while and uh, just having a good laugh. That's that's the way we prefer it. Uh, good luck with the music. You guys sound badass. We've got a couple more of your tunes to play yet. We're going to go ahead and uh, jam those. And uh, like I said, anytime you want to call in, you got some good news or just want to say hi. Stop right there. Do Stop it. right there. Nickers in the chat room says, what is your opinion of groupies? Oh, man. The groupies. Some of them, are, they, really are, they really are mutants, I tell you that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, so being professional, we, we, have to, uh, we have to do waivers for groupies because uh, some of them aren't groupies that we necessarily want. You know, <laughs> um, we're very particular, very particular about our groupies. And I would advise everybody else to understand who they're taking home. <laughs> it's a real issue out there. Um, good, uh, bad things happen to good people. So just be careful, all right? <laughs> um, I think I can relate to that. Hi, Tina. And uh, Taylor Barker says to ask them about D. Who's D? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. I think he's talking about you guys. I'm not quite sure. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay, so who was it again, Rachel? No, Taylor Ta- Barker. Taylor Barker. Taylor Barker. All right. Well, I hope she likes CDs because we do have CDs. Yeah. And if she wants to inquire more about these CDs, I'll probably say CDs nuts, but I'll also, <laughs> I'll also sell, I'll also ask her if she likes to buy her album. <laughs> Oh, that is a good one. <laughs> Ask about the. <laughs> I guess that's totally over my head. I'll pass on it. That's all right. That's all right. Besides, my wife's sitting right here. <laughs> I don't dare make a comment. <laughs> yeah, I'll give him a bunch of fives. You know, put them all. Ah, shut up. All right. Are you done, wife? Well, hey, thank you again. Seriously. Yes. You're very welcome. Thank you. We're going to throw on your tunes here, and we're going to do a little jam with them. You guys be good. Good luck. And, and next uh, time we speak to you, you need some tin foil on your head because you've been cutting in and out. So, there you go. Yeah, Excellent. tin foil, stand on your left leg, jump up and down. Maybe do a few cartwheels, and it might just improve that. Signal. Maybe next time you call, you'll have that bus, and you can get out and stand up on the roof. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we will. All right, truck them easy, you guys, and enjoy yourselves. Good night. Hey, you guys take care. Okay, guys? Thank you. Bye-bye. Yankee and the Brit Country Saturday night, the RTM Radio Network, some way home. Check it out.